Okay guys, so today we're going to be fitting a new battery to my BMW F20. Now if you can see here, this is a Bosch 80 amp battery that we're going to be fitting to the car. And I'm going to be removing the original BMW battery. Then we're going to go ahead and register this battery. I'm not going to have to do no coding because I'm fitting the exact same amps an hour battery to the car, which come from factory. So what is already registered in the VO, so I do not have to change it. So we're going to go ahead and just remove the old battery and then register it to the car. What? God damn, get it done with you. Woo. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes because his memories. We run into New York, so you know. Okay, guys, so you'll see here we've got all 10 mil bolts and we've also got a holding bracket here for the battery. So we're just going to go ahead and release that holding bracket right here. Removing the 10 mil bolts out of here. Just like that. Just like that. So we can just lift this up. Just like that. We'll put that here. Second. Now what we're going to do is release the negative terminal. Just release that off the car. So that'll be the first terminal released. Right here. Then we're going to take this block out just to support for the battery. Release the live wire now, right here. So you have got a 30 mil just down here, which holds the battery in place. And you're just going to want to unloosen right here and probably take out until you put a new battery in. Now that's done. Now we can go ahead and get the battery out of here. We need to put a new one in, just like that. Being careful not to trap any leads. Then slide it over, pull it on. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is put your venting tube and the gases inside here, just like that. Now, you're going to want to put your support back on, on the floor. Once you've got that in place, just tighten it down. Just like that. Now what you're going to want to go ahead and do is get a block right here to secure the battery here as well. Then get your bracket that over to secure it even more and put your 10 mil nuts back on and once that's back on that's your battery complete now it's time to move on to registering a new battery okay guys so as you can see now we're now on Bimalink now I have got the ignition on I've got the OBD dongle plugged up now we're gonna go ahead and do is click connect. Now this can take a few minutes just to get all the modules, actually scan everything on the car. Once it connects, I'll then show you how to register your new battery. Now, as you can see, it's all loaded up. So now what we're gonna go ahead and go to is 12 volt battery. Once that loads up, as you see here, we're gonna do register new battery. So we're gonna do same capacity and type. So we're just gonna do hit this one right here register new battery and then you'll see it's going to register the new battery to the system now that's how easy it is with Bimalink compared to getting out the whole of ISTA just to be able to do that wait for it all to scan all the modules wait for it to do everything that is how quick I just registered the new battery to the car you can see the state of charge is nearly a hundred percent my other one was only on 60 so the battery needed to be changed now 60% is still very, very good for a battery that's gone over nine years old already, but I still was gonna change it regardless because you guys know me, I like to change the batteries on all my cars to be on the safe side. So that is another battery registration successful on the BMW F20 using Bimalink. Okay guys, so as you've seen there, I've just fitted a new battery to the car and I just registered it using Bimalink. Now, if you are interested in Bimalink, I do have other videos on my 
channel regarding Bimmer Code and Bimmer Link, which are the same company and use the same dongle. The dongle is listed in my description below and I'll pin it to the comments for you guys to go and check out also. You saw how quick I actually registered this battery and it's much quicker than doing it with Impar or using Istar. By the time you load it up, you can register the battery in literally seconds. You saw how quick it connected and I registered it literally there and then. The only time you'll have to change the battery in the coding is if you change the AH of the battery from 80 to say 100 or 120, which also can be done using Bimmer code in the coding. So I hope you guys have actually enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. It's BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.